Okay. Just blew up the whole place. Oh my gosh. Whoops. I was not paying attention. I was just walking. I thought I was like, I didn't realize I was just walking into something that was burning. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Regal here. Welcome back to Max Payne. Right now we're going through this warehouse to get to some ship to take care of some dude because some Russian guy told us to. Okay. Get some jumping up here. these dudes across I can use my separate rifle this time mm. hey, okay <laughs> I guess I killed him uh, all right Uh, some sensitive. Oh. Oh, he can snipe me back. Okay. Good. Oh, I gotta do this again. Of course, it's always like. It doesn't like save any other point between the thing. It's just like between the two, like between the loading zones and everything. Come on. Oh. Wow, that grenade got me. Uh. <laughs> okay then. Uh. Just taking tons of hits. Okay. He dead. Uh. It's annoying thing. Sometimes the controls seem a little sensitive. Like I feel like I'm pushing just forward, but then I'm like I just nudge over it a little bit, and he just goes. It's like not like real smooth like you expect it to be. I just nudge the control stick over a little bit from forward, then he like just goes like straight at a 45 degree angle. This is very sensitive. <laughs> I 
just kind of goes over there and like hits him and then immediately comes back. I mean, just back to here, so. So sensitive. Finally. Okay. First one I already got. I can go for your collect stuff. Yeah. This thing is loud. This is loud for me. But it won't be as loud because the uh, audio will be adjusted in the video, but. Ah. Oh, gosh. There we go. I don't use grades very often, so... I'm gonna come grab that door. Well, they didn't. People on the ground instead. I don't need to worry about them, I just go. Wow. Look at that. Interesting. down here. Oh gosh. Okay. See what's back here. Is there anything back here? Oh, there is. There's a guy back here. There's some stuff. Um. There's. How do I.
Um, hmm. There's a fenced-in area with stuff in it, but I can't, like, open it. Huh. Interesting. Um... No way inside of the top of it. Could get up here. Potentially put, get up here. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. There's not a lock on that gate, so. Well. Oh. Great, thanks. Maybe it's access accessible from the outside, but if just circle around and then I go into that door it's on the other side. Oh! I don't know why I still get those stupid lag spikes. Really annoying. Oh, okay. That's where I'm supposed to be going. I had found Boris Dime's ship. Jeez. Okay. Take these pills, now I'm out of pills. Oh well. Rust had crept over the sides of the cargo steamer a long time ago. Boris Dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get near the gangplank. Guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. Great. Sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. This open? Hmm. No. Because it's just hey. design element. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Still fun. Oh. Oh. Hey ya. Hey ya. How's it going? Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Just blasted that full right in the face. a dime cost you. I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You son Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello. Mad enough to trip over his own feet. Preferably into a grave. <laughs> okay. Oh! I don't know where that grenade went, but... Oh, he's just down here. He just killed himself. He would have killed himself with it if I hadn't shot him. Great, more tight corridors. The kind of thing this game is maybe not best for with this kind of combat shot. One of the things I gotta say, like... This game... 
definitely, I think, still holds up. It still is pretty fun, actually. It still works, despite some of the... Tell the devil that Dime sent you. But yeah, it still holds up and it's pretty fun, but it's like it is a little bit wonky a little bit. Some of the controls are a little bit a little bit a little bit funky. Pretty funk, pretty, pretty, pretty clunky sometimes, and everything. But it's still pretty good, still pretty fun. It's just I don't, I kind of don't think that the um, the gameplay with the um, you know the bullet time dodging mechanic that is like a prominent thing kind of works well with the tight corridors spaces that the game usually takes place in. Most of the game is very like kind of tight, and it's like doesn't. Don't think it really like complements it well. Sometimes it's a little bit like cramped, and just, you can't get nothing you done. I know I won. Great, and I got a assault rifle now. Got an assault rifle. Yeah, sometimes just it's like the areas are so tight, it's just like. Did you get everything you need? Check. I owe you anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But any time you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big time gangster act, don't you? No pain, no gain. <laughs> nice play on words. Word play. Right. Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? <laughs> yeah, I know it. One hour. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies, but that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot, Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. I think the problem, I think my problem, one issue here is that, despite, even though it's supposed to be, of course. You know, there's supposed to be like this big, massive snowstorm. Oops. You know, supposed to be this big, massive snowstorm. It like when you're outside, it's not really snowing that heavy. It's like a little bit of like a flakes, and you know, it was probably like a technical limitation because of being a PS2 game. But it's just like it's supposed to be this like massive snowstorm. It's happening. It's not shot. really much. Angelo Punchy no much showing and, up. But there was no crime in hoping. Yeah. So this was the kitchen, aren't I? There's 
rigged up to blow. Gosh. Whoops. I was not paying attention. I was just walking. I thought I was like, I didn't realize I was just walking into something that was burning. I didn't realize it was, the fire was there. <laughs> didn't really. Oops. I'm dumb, so. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. Cause death. Oops. You need to dodge. Get up. Got in the fire accidentally. Nope. Actually, a pretty big place looks like. Jeez. Uh. Oh. What? Let me. Hmm? No? That's not right. <laughs> the face. Um... I don't understand. <laughs> it's like weird and confusing. Oops. Got right in the line of way. Got right in the way. I just have to jump across these things, avoid fire as much as possible, or what? Seems like it. Which is, which is weird. Oh! <laughs> Oops. I saw it coming and then I like didn't register quick enough. I'm like, oh. Oh, there's a thing shooting at me. Anybody to be in here, Janela was burning to get me. The feeling was mutual. She was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. Hmm. 
The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. There he is! See you. So always gotta be a sewer level. Got him down. You're in the poo water. Oh wow! Well. Hi. I was not thinking that there'd be somebody there. I should have like looked, tried to be more careful and picked. now. Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee wail of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. Um. The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinello wanted pain. He'd see the pain. So, the trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no roadmap. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck. And anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. Not even you? The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince what? Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin knowing me to the bone this is why he's holding a assault rifle Max huh. where'd you come from take those immediately death the thug had been promoted to messenger wow okay okay someone hadn't enjoyed the don's hospitality someone with a flair for the dramatic someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards my thoughts were on mona again i could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning before she'd run into the trio Okay, that's great. Uh, let's see, is anything else interesting here? No. Well, well, he's waiting for me. He's waiting. Like, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna kill that Max Payne. He's gonna be dead. But that'll, be that'll have to be next time. So be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe so you don't miss out any videos. Until next time. 
See ya.